I believe teaching is not done in one hour. It, it takes a lot of years. Even Imam Shafi says, Al-ilmu bitul is a man. Knowledge takes a lot of time to be established in the heart. So what we have these one hour lectures is something those little, little niches which we can establish in your heart that might make you something which you can't even imagine you're meant to do. But what I say to all of you is, there is a part in your mind that might be very unstable, not at all serious, not taking anything, you know, taking most of the things for granted. And that's life, that's okay, that things happen. But remember one thing, Bacho, there has to be a part in your mind, even at this beautiful age, when you yet haven't experienced the most venomous and the most poisonous part of life, that life is hard. Even Allah says life is hard, it's tough, it's going to knock you down, it's going to ground you down real bad. To find yourself and to claim your entity and to discover the real potential God has given you, it takes a lot. It's, it's, gone, it's walking through fire, but that's later, not now. But my point and my tip to the future leaders of my country and the future scholars of my motherland is that there has to be a percentage in your mind that you should never joke around and you should never be non-serious about it. And that is who you are. You should be very seriously concerned who you are and what you're going to be. Don't ever let anybody in this world make a joke out of that 20-25% of that seriousness in your mind who you are. What you are, what are you supposed to be, how do you look at yourself and how do you want the world to look at you. And then again, how do you want God to look, to look at you, how do you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to look at you because Allah says, Ana in the zanni abdi bi. I am according to the way you perceive about me. The way you perceive me, that's the kind of attitude you will get from God as well. But if you, so, and even this is what the beautiful part of this universe is, it responds according to your responses to it. Allah says, وَسَخَرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا I created this entire creation for who? Kum is a pronoun in Arabic for? You. سَخَرَ لَكُمْ This universe was created for you, for, for you beautiful people, for us, for human beings. It was created and in the Arabic meaning of Sakhar, you can say it was created or it was meant for you to harness it, mold it, use it to get actualized in this world, to claim your leadership. So this world is waiting for you to, res to respond to what you have in your heart for it. And God is waiting for you to respond back the way you respond back to Him. And the most biggest resource, the most healthy resource and the most powerful resource you have in being something in this life, being meaningful, is you. If you do not know yourself, you're never going to cross that checkered flag, that place that your heart would say and the world would say, Man, he's pulled it off. He's good. He's done it. He's the man. But that's not, this walk is not an easy walk. It's a hard walk of life. In fact, the most meaningful walk and the most significant walk of life, sweethearts, is the walk you make alone. Nobody is there with you. you. Because when you have dreams and when you have visions to bring down the mountains under your feet, to bring the heavens under your dreams and your visions and your dedication and commitment with what you believe should have been done, the world won't recognize you. The world won't acknowledge you. Your own people standing next to you will not believe in your vision and your dreams. And they would want you to live a life less or not less ordinary like them. Like what they were in this world. So a time comes in life to be something larger than life, to be something which not e not nobody in this world expected from you. You need resources. You need to know yourself, who you are. Because when you're exhausting those resources, 
to be that one which nobody even dreamt of being a pakistani or being a muslim or being a human as well there are different identities you carry in your own self and if you actualize and realize all of them you're going to be invincible one day inshallah nobody can nail you down and nobody can beat you down on that floor of competition of life where everybody has to perform life is a stage you got to perform on it but when you're performing you need resources to build life and the biggest resource you have is allah but the first resource that starts is you allah 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 says to musa alaihi salatu wasalam throw the stuff i will open the 12 the 12 paths in the ocean that's my job to do but you do your first as well just do it even for the 5% throw the stuff musa samandar hum kholenge but you do the sunna of being a man is you need to make an initiative kadam badao but what happens is when you're trying to pull a big vision in life when you're trying to pursue a dream nobody has imagined you're going to fa- face a lot of naysaying and the biggest naysayer in this world lies within you in punjabi in our language there is a very beautiful word a very beautiful sentence that has destroyed so many beautiful dreamers you can't imagine buthi dekhi apni that is an amazing sentence i would say but it has destroyed such big leaders you can't imagine all right i'm just flexing a muscle so that you don't start chit chatting don't concentrate at the person sitting next to you i should be the most important person right now in your life because i've got something for you don't look here and there so you know when they built such a sentence they said buti so you know the gora came up with a very seasoned cultured answer you know if you pointing one finger at someone there are three fingers pointing at you as well. very cultured huh so the punjabi came up with very beautiful stuff they put the four fingers out and again said buti dekhi hai you get the point jokes a point when you're trying to do something good sweethearts people will not accept you you will not your own self will not accept you so you need to be very clear and focused who you are and that brings in the million dollar question the identity crisis we are facing who am i am i a desi or am i a yo you know am i a westerner am i an easterner am i a muslim am i a non muslim am i supposed to be an orthodox muslim or am i supposed to be progressive muslim gender based inequalities in a life i'm a woman am i supposed to dream or not males brothers over here students men sitting over here boys am i supposed to do something or it's the identity crisis because of which the power of your muscle it's going to go down because when you're walking towards your vision and your dreams in life you're going to get tired very tired your muscles your body will not work in accordance with your heart but where the muscle fails bache it is a spirit that carries you along and for having a larger than life spirit you need to come out of doubts you need to come out of desires you need to come out of confusions al istirab muzabzibin bayna zalik la ilaha illa huwa la ilaha you don't have to be left and right you need to be where you need to be so you have to ask the most difficult question am i what the world wanted me to be am i what my friends wanted me to be am i what my parents wanted me to be or am i what my heart says i should be no man in this world beta is a waste and if you become a waste i as a visionary in my life will grow old one day 20 years down the lane i've got six gray hair it's going to turn into 70 or 60 80 gray hairs i'm going to be old so when you come up to people like us 
I will definitely ask you, what did you achieve, bache, in life? What did you do with this beautiful gift of intellect God gave you, and this wonderful miracle of God that is the body? And similarly, even when I when I meet people today, rather than flashing your wealth and your money and your style, when you're sitting with a big gun, come up with achievements and accomplishments. Rather than faking it, I am the son of this, I am the brother of this, I am the friend of this. Pala, bring yourself to the table. That's where you become celebrated. That's where you will be bought. In this great world of competition, you as Pakistanis should come up with potential that outmatches every every other every other person in this world, because it's your right to be acknowledged, actualized, reach that level where you become a signature in your field. But that will not happen with non-seriousness, being lazy, taking life for granted, taking these beautiful teachers for granted. Aaj hai, karl kar lunga. You know what doesn't matter. Talk to the hand. You know this is an attitude, and it's okay with your age. It's all fine. I said you have an age of making errors, but an error done consistently over years and years becomes a blunder. And in this In this great struggle of life, you see, life didn't even spare we people as Pakistanis as well. Many countries that were built after us, they have they have exceeded because we got non-serious. We take our resources in our in our back in our land for for granted. We take our education for granted. We take our parents for granted, and even we take this beautiful institution that is working outside Pakistan. Many people might not be here. Many people might have migrated or shifted over here just to teach you people. And probably I left my family, and my family, and my wife, and my parents to come to this land for something. I'm not charging for that. I don't. I'm not taking money for that. It's plain passion to see that my future that is going to take over the world tomorrow. Do not waste its own resources. But you do not know. When a resource is wasted in a human form, how much it it pained the how much painful it was for the prophet, because the educationalists and the thinkers, they are the bench that create solutions, opportunities. If you want to be down the lane, then don't waste the money of sitting over here. Give this bench to someone else who deserves it. Because if you want to be an ideologue of a country of of any country. Of any ideology, then you need to work real hard. Seventy Quran scholars were asked by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "Please, can you send a delegation of scholars to our land so that we can learn Islam?" So they ambushed them and they killed them. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made kunoot e nazla for one month because it was the loss of human resource, scholars, ulama, thinkers, brains, people who knew academics, because that's. where you convince even the biggest powers in the world you need to buy me i've got that hit and i've got that click but for that you need to read the books you need to tell your friends you know what you're not going to be there tomorrow for me if i'm not going to be here for myself today so you have to tell them tell the people who are taking you as a joke in life i can't waste my life with you this is my life and i respect it and i have that self esteem that i will not be taken for granted or as garbage or as trash on the basis of my country and on the basis of my religion and on the basis of being a human taken as a waste when i'm 20 30 35 40 or 40 50 i cannot be i how can you face yourself if people ask you what did you do with this your life with this life of yours kya kiya apne zindagi ke sath how will you face these questions sitting with a professional in life and you know what i see today in this world is people have fake rationales batil dalail telling themselves ye nahi ho sakta tha wo nahi ho sakta tha this couldn't happen this could don't do that that's lame and that's literally disrespecting the potential god has given you if you haven't pulled it off properly i i tell those people as well if you wasted it have the heart to accept you messed it up you ruined it all and people excelled and nations excelled in front of us seeing in these decades because we weren't serious with what we need to do 
in our lives with ourselves and the resources God has given us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep opening opportunities in front of you. If you decide to say, this is what I am. This is what I want to be. You want to go to Harvard? You want to go to Stanford? You want to go to Yale? You want to go to the Ivy League universities in US? There is nothing wrong in dreaming it. If people are telling you, you are going to go, the booty. And the first one is the one within you. Your own heart won't accept it. Because in life, our heart gets intimidated by the world telling us around. And in the nafsa, la amaratum desu, the most, the worst of the perceptions and the worst of the callings and whispering comes from within you. That will not let you be serious in life. That will not let you take yourself as precious gifts of God to be actualized. Your heart would say, let's go and have fun. Let's waste money. Let's talk gossips. Let's waste time and resources because it's fun. The musti and all that sort of stuff. But then there are those few. And that's the reason why some of you, among you, after 10-20 years, will be miles yard ahead because he wasn't wasting life. He wanted to be something really meaningful. Aaj kaam karega beta, kal rule karega. Aaj zaya karega, kal gulami karega. And that's what's the destiny. That's what turning out to be the destiny of our, of our people. We were the masters of a lot of academics. There is no doubt that, genius, that a genius man can be born in any ethnicity, in any color, in any race. Talent mulk dekh ke paida nahi hota. But a talent, a tea of talent, if it doesn't go and meet another tea that is called technique. Technique to use your talent, to find the gifts within you. And it also doesn't go to another door of another tea called temperament. Resistance against self-control, resilience, exercising. Consistency. Then this tea, not done through these two teas, will go to another tea that is called toilet. And the resource is going to be wasted over there. All of you are talented people. None of you lack the potential to be a signature in any field. You want to be a, a bicyclist. You want to be a wrestler. You want to be a politician. You want to be a diplomat. The only thing that is stopping you to be at that level, to be a mark and a milestone in the hearts of people of all the nations in this planet is nothing but you. You are the one who's going to take you down that grave and then your own self will deny you one day. Fala tulumuni walumu anfusakum. That's what the devil is going to say. In the as well. Mujhe malamat mat kar. You are responsible for your own mess. The devil is going to say that to you. Your nafs is going to say that to you. And people... Oh, you'll find people always wanting to have parties and festivity on your funeral. You know, people would love to see you die. It's, pers it's the persona within you that wants itself to be actualized. So you need to take yourself out of this hell if you are in it. And if you're, if you're following the procedures and if you're following the process and if you know who you are, and if you know there is a country, you're responsible to it. And if you know there is a humanity, you're responsible to it. And if you know that there is a God, you're responsible to it. And if you know there's a religion, you're responsible to it. And if you know those relatives, you're responsible to it. Then definitely you're not going to waste your life falling into depression, going towards suicides, wasting life in saying, why does this thing happens with me? Don't come up with this loserish phrase, you know. Life is hard, life is tough. You have a responsibility as a person. One day or the other, you have to understand. Ek din, you have to face the boogeyman that says, life is a fantasy island, you know, with snow white and seven dwarfs. That's not going to happen. That's not life. Life is hard, life is difficult and it's venomous. But it will get poisoned with time. You're going to come out of this sweet little age you have. But the time you'll discover, discover those mean, rude, unexpected, non-fantasized world, we want our bacha log, our kids, 
to be prepared for that we shouldn't be putting spoons of non reasonable and nonsensical stuff in your minds we want you to face life is hard as a woman life is very hard in a pakistani society a woman has to struggle through a lot of stuff life is tough you need to be prepared that's going to happen when you know who you are that identity that you carry in yourself that you are a slave of allah and you're a person living in this world as a human being you're not an animal lahum qulubun la yafqahuna biha wa lahum ayunun la yubsiruna biha wa lahum adhanun la yasmauna biha allah says when a person who has a heart that doesn't think can rationalize and he has eyes who doesn't see and he has ears that doesn't listen to the proper thing ulai ka kalana he is like an animal you're not an animal stop comparing yourself and taking values and norms from animals but but allah says bal hum adal when a person loses his consciousness and his hearing and listening the power and the gift for you to grow develop and nurture into something beyond human beings expectation that's where you become an animal and you become worse than them why because even animal doesn't lose that consciousness of being disciplined enough to remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I would like to end my speech with these words that in this great walk of life there would be times when you'll be doubtful, confused, alone. You won't find any shoulders, cold shoulders for you. You will not find appreciation, acknowledgments, love, care, words that would soothe and pacify that wounded heart. that actually just wanted to live his life in those times you need to be prepared for them you need to discover the real potential within you to discover your own god your own love and your own actualization and i would end with a beautiful share of our pakistani culture jo khud hi ki raah pe chal pade hone manzilon ne bana di jinhe bas vaso ne dara diya وہ قدم قدم پر بیٹھ گئے واخر دوانا الحمدللہ رب العالمین جزاک اللہ خیر